Up next, not fast food, but slow food. It's called thermal cooking. Our third chef uses the trusty thermos in a modern incarnation, the shuttle chef. Now I've promised the women of Australia that you have got a method of cooking that is so stress-free and time efficient that it's just like somebody else did the cooking. It's a big ask, can you deliver? I can do big asks. First, first and foremost, this is a portable slow cooker. It's mm -hmm. a genuine thermos product. Mm -hmm. It's actually made, been made since 1908. It's all stainless steel, vacuum insulated. These saucepans are a multiply saucepan. Look at the thickness of the base in that thing. Yeah. It's a heavy carbon steel base, yeah. beautiful That's daily insane. use saucepan. But beautiful. what it's designed for is when it gets hot with the food in there and you put it in the thermos, it will stay hot for hours and that's how the whole thing cooks. Bring everything to the boil, yes. let it simmer for a few moments so you know the heat is in everything that's in there. Yes. Put it inside the thermos and close the lid. But for a normal meal, like a beef in, in red wine that we're gonna be doing today, 10 minutes on the stove is all it needs. Well, it's a mighty big ask, and I actually don't believe you can do it. So let's see if you can, what are you gonna cook for us? All right, I've got two things I'm gonna do. Because that's got two pots in there, I'm actually gonna do a boiled fruit cake for dessert, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do a beef with mushrooms in red wine for you. I beat three eggs, while a 375 gram pack of dried fruit and 125 grams of butter is added. And half a cup of orange juice. Then three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. My wife usually likes me to only put one cap of whiskey in, but yes. this, is, this is a bloke's, a bloke's, bloke's cake, so we just put a second one into there as well. Excellent. You let this mixture simmer and add some mixed spice. Grated orange peel next. It's starting to smell really good, I can tell you that. That's the whiskey, mate. Yes. <laughs> I need to uh, give that about a five minute simmer mm -hmm. and then we'll uh, let it cool down. Okay, now that's all boiling, so I'm gonna turn that down, let that simmer for five minutes to get all those flavors to develop in the fruit. Let the whiskey percolate a little bit through it. Okay. And then we'll be able to cool it down, mix the flour on those eggs you did, and it goes into the cake tin. That's cooled down now, Al and it smells delicious. Now it needs some bicarb of soda to aerate. Right, what's next? Okay, we're gonna put those eggs that you beat up into the mixture, stir that into the fruit so it's nice and evenly mixed, and then we're gonna put the flour into it. Flour's in there with the fruits, with everything else. I'm now gonna put it into the steam pudding tin, mm -hmm. and that will then go into one of our inner saucepans with some boiling water around the outside of it, mm -hmm. and we'll simmer that for about 40 minutes. And I'll just clean up that, uh, that pot, Al. Good on you, mate. Okay, so I can have a scotch now? No, unfortunately not. We're going to cook your beef and mushroom in red wine, then you can have a scotch. Right, beef casserole. Yes. What are we going to do? Right, I'm going to fry the onions first. Mm -hmm. I'll brown the meat. That goes into my small pot there. And then I just have to add all those veggies, some beef stock, a few herbs and spices and things to go into it. Yeah, you need something to soak up all that beautiful juice, don't you? We do. Pop those ones into there like that. Yeah. Now I want to put a little bit of pearl barley in there. Pearl Bailey? Yeah. Thought she was dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's not returning your calls, I know that. <laughs> so we're going to pop the lid on it, turn it down to a gentle simmer. That'll need about 10 minutes. Yep. Gentle simmering. By that stage, the cake's just about had its 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. We'll pop the two into there, close the lid down, and then we're ready for dinner later on. Oh. You've got about three to four hours before dinner time, mm -hmm. and that'll be certainly ready by then, but it'll be ready in eight or 10 hours if you wanted to. It will stay hot for 10 hours. Look at that! Now I take it all back. Why don't you join me, big fella? I will do that, yes. Well, I can't eat any more of that, mate. Because it's time to start on the fruitcake! Mmm! I can taste the scotch. Two caps, just, just for you. Thermal Cookware is offering as a prize bonus to the first 50 people that order the Shuttle Chef the following accessories. A free carry bag, cutting board, a choice of a pudding tin, loaf tin or bain marie, plus six special curry spice mixes. This is a $114 bonus offer and you'll also get free freight anywhere in Australia. Just call 1300 667 151 to place your order.